Let me show you guys that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do new share. I have a question. That's nice. <laughs> Is activity three due today? Yes. Online is. I don't know. I was going to ask about the scanner. Yeah. So you mean the scanner app or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to use it. I think I, I made you guys download it, but it ended up giving us problems. Mm -hmm. I remember that from class. Um, don't worry about being able to scan it or not. Just make sure you're able to take a picture of it and submit it that way. Okay. Okay, well, that's going to be more difficult for me because I'm still trying to figure out all that stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, if we get back to school by the 7th, which I hope we do, because mm -hmm. this is ridiculous, then I'll stay. I'll, I'll pick up my grade. Yeah. Did you guys hear about those... Uh, those kids that were in uh in Florida in South Beach spring breaking yeah that was so they don't cool. give a shit so they didn't give a Florida shit Florida don't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was with them oh, oh, yeah, man. nah I'm serious because it, it, it look it, this this thing is stupid it's ridiculous I don't think so man I think it's actually like serious now like it, I mean it's, I know it's serious but like it's it's just I mean it, it, it's difficult it, it, it it's it's hard like you want to go outside but you can't and then you want to go out hang out with friends but then you can't because it's like oh social distancing and then basically they're telling you, you can't spend your money they're basically shutting down everything yep that's the point I I think I think you're confusing difficulty with necessity this needs to happen True, it does. Right? It does. And it's difficult. Everybody's been saying that. It is difficult. We just got to Okay. That way uh, suffering because of it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, so first thing I wanted to show people is how to get into the math lab. So um, if you go into your canvas mm -hmm. and you go into your dashboard over here, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, so mine looks a little busier than your guys' stuff. Guys, True. Right? So you guys might have maybe three or four of these. Damn. Right? Uh, one of these options, one of these boxes has to be this math lab now. Okay. Okay. If you click on it. Right. You get this thing. You get the whole entire schedule for the week. Right? Right. Depending on what time it is and what day it is, you go to those people. Okay. You click on somebody else's, it may be empty. What? Why? Because uh, if they're not supposed to be on duty, then they're not going to be there. Oh, that's ridiculous. So, for example, right now, it's 10 o'clock, right? Right. If you click on my name on Tuesday, I'm not there. Oh, of course. Technically, this is not my time, right? I'm, I was supposed to be online. I was online this morning from 8 to 8.45. <laughs> At 8.45, I cut out. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay? Okay. So Got right you. Now, if you go to the math lab right now, it's about 10 o'clock. So you'll see uh, Miss Nidia and Miss Batra. Cool. Got it? Got it. Yep. If you go in maybe 15 minutes, it's only going to be uh, Miss Nidia. Cool. Got it? Got it. Okay. Any questions about the math lab? Nope, you covered it. All right, all right. You're killing this small. Oh, okay, I have a question. What page are we on? We are on this page right here. Well, we're on page 119, right? No one. So like that. So. Oh, what? we're continuing off from where we left off last time. Practically. So what I'm gonna do. So today, 126. Oh, 126. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is. Uh, Thank you. I think we have enough. I think we had enough practice from last class. Mm -hmm. Um. So we can uh, just jump on into the group problems. 
Okay. What page is that, that on? Uh, the group problems are 127. Okay, cool. So, um, the group problems. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to start off at the group problems. I'm going to give you guys maybe half an hour to do some of the group problems for you on your own. Got it. What was it 127? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip unit two activity four for today. Um, so I can get a bit more time with unit two activity five exponential models with the fractional exponents. Okay. Uh, so that'll come after uh, we do some group work. So that's on 128, right? 120. No, that's, um, let me see. 127 is group work. 127, 128, probably 130, I'm guessing. Uh, 133. So after you guys finish up your group work, which is just two pages, it's uh, 127 and 128. There is a lab. So I'll leave you guys to try out the lab. And then from there, we jump off to page 133. Tacos con todo, huh? Con todo. Yeah. Gotta yell it at them. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, for right now, I want to give you guys maybe a good uh, 20 minutes, maybe half hour to try out the group problem. Let's start on page 127. I'm gonna time you guys. So for, for the first one, we're just inputting the data and then giving out the equation. Right. So <clears throat> this one, uh, make sure you have your Desmos stuff open. Either your Desmos stuff or the um, uh, or your calculator stuff. So. One more question. Huh? I have one more question. Yeah. So yeah. Um, instead of putting 1970, I'm going to say we're assuming we're sticking to what we've been doing and we're going to put uh, zero for 70 and then work our way up all the way to 95. Yep. Okay. Okay, sir, I have a question. After yeah. 133, is there any homework? After what? 133, is there any homework? Um, well, yeah, there's going to be the group work and the assignment and the what? So what page is that? Uh, 136. So the group work starts on page 136. Oh, so we have to finish that, right? Yep. Okay, so 126. Eight is the group assignment and then the lab assignment. 138. 139. Wait, 138, so 137, 138, and 139, right? Yep. Okay, so I'll do those for homework. Got it. Well, hold on. 137, 138 is just group work. Okay. 139, 140, 141, mm -hmm. and 42 are the lab which you have to do as well. Oh, Sorry. So that's, so that's all homework, right? Yep. Okay. So let me get those. 130, 140 is homework. Okay, 140 is homework. Okay. And then um, 1. Dang, we're not going to get all this done. That's going to be more work. Yeah. We got to keep doing this work. 139 is homework. Okay. So we're on 127. Okay, 127. All right. You're killing us, Smalls. Oh, come on. You are. Okay. I, honestly, I, I swear, I might be in the hospital by, by the April 7th. This keeps up. You're going to what? Be in the hospital. I, I can't take the stress. You'll be fine, Ron. You'll be fine. I mean, this is just terrible.
this is like having a pine cone. This is like, oh my God, this is worse than classical music and being locked in a room listening to nothing but classical music. Oh, that hurts, man. It does. Some classical does. music's good. Some oh, classical like, music is good. It's like having a, a pine cone shoved up your booty. It's just terrible. <laughs> Yeah. I just lost my damn chart. <laughs> Hairball. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sir, I'm really scared, but what if I don't make it? I mean, don't make what? A class. What if, what if, like, I fail so bad? Like, you'll see me next semester. Then that should be okay. No, it won't be okay. Why not? Because. Because what? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I like you. You're a good guy and everything. I mean, you're cool, but. I mean, I got to move on, man. I, I ain't got time for all that. I got to move on. Well, if it has to happen, it's got to happen, man. That's terrible. I know it's it's not, it probably isn't what you want to hear. Right. But if it's got to happen, it's got to happen, man. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. I know. And then, then after all this, I won't even know. I don't know if, I don't know if I can handle next semester online. I, well, next I semester, I'm. Yeah. Not set in stone yet. I think next semester we're all going to be back at school. Oh, thank God, because this is ridiculous. Just for this thing. I mean, everybody's saying be positive, but it, how can you be positive when everybody's either losing their jobs? people dying, people having heart attacks, people being insensitive and taking pictures and of smiling while they're at open shelves at the grocery store. Yeah. And then how can you be happy when Arnold's in his lavish hot tub being like, oh yeah, social distancing. How can you be happy with all that? I think you're worrying about Worrying too much about everybody else, not enough about yourself. You need to calm down. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, let's see. Um, I have a question. Do we minus all this to get to the answer, or do we divide it? So this you need. Oh, that's what I was going to get to. Um, make sure you have your Desmo stuff up. So okay, I didn't show everybody. Right. Oh, what am I there for? Hold on. I don't even know. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, you can just go to the math lab, right? Oh, go to, hold on, hold on, sorry. Go to our homepage, right? Yeah, go to your homepages. Mm -hmm. right? If you go to your homepages, you scroll all the way down. There's the regression calculators. Mm hmm. So make sure you use this to uh, to get your um, your regression equations. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha, regression, got it. You're gonna need to, let me share the other screen. What other screen are you gonna share with us? So we put all that in and then it should come out, right? Right, so you guys see that table that's right there, right? Right. Yeah. Table. Of course, I see the table. Okay, my computer's acting up again. Uh, sorry. Well, it's not the computer really, it's my keyboard. Mm. Go to eBay, get a new one. Well, I got this one off of Amazon, ah. and it works okay. So, see this table right here? Mm -hmm. 
put that information in, right? Okay. Into Desmos. You can see what the equation is. The only difference, right, is you guys see these, the years? Yeah. So instead of putting in like 1970 and 1975 and 1980 and 1985, how about doing uh, X? is years since 1970. Okay. So how we'll put that in the calculator? Zero. Right, so oh. then. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? No, zero, five, it's going up by fives. Okay. Oh, so zero, one, two, three, five. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Zero, five, ten. Zero, oh, zero, five, ten. Okay, zero, five. Okay, Doing the fives up. tables pretty much up until 25. Right. Okay, so, five, ten. so we're going to do years since 1970, right? So then that means that 1970, actually, let me use red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 1970 is zero, right? How many years is 1975 since 1970? That would be five years, right? All right. 1980 would be 10 years since, right? And then 11 would be the next one, right? 15. Oh, 15. Okay. Oh, so 0, 15, 0, 15, 0, oh, no, not 0, 15, 0, 10, 0, 5. Uh, zero five, ten, fifteen. And what would the other ones be? Zero five. Well, how many years is nineteen ninety from nineteen seventy? Hello. Okay. How many years difference from nineteen seventy to nineteen ninety? Uh, that'd be like a 25 year difference. Close. Okay, 26. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, 24. Nope. 23. How, how, how would you find these out? Now you're guessing, Rob. <laughs> well, guessing's easy. Guessing may not get you the right answer the, the, every time. True. So, how, how would we find the difference between 1970? And 1990. You divide. Nope. Multiply. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Well, the, the only other one is add. You yes. add. Thank you. So 1990 minus 1970 is how many years? Well, I got 35, unless I did it wrong. Yep, you did it wrong. Okay. 20. 20. Okay, hold on. 1990 minus. Uh, hold on. 1990. 1990 minus 1990. Okay, zero. Oh. 1990 minus 1970. Oh, 1970. Okay. 1970. Not to jump ahead, but can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For C, is it just asking you? Did the did it overlap what they made in nineteen seventy? Uh, did it overestimate or underestimate? So, um, let's go back. Well, that was twenty. So yeah. So, in A, right? You should have gotten some exponential equation right you should have gotten like yeah. f of x is equal to da 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 right yeah okay for c use this right uh and find <laughs> it's supposed to be for 1970. Uh, okay okay Does that makes sense now 1970 they actually give you data mm-hmm so in 1970, it's supposed to be 7.7, right? Yeah. Is there a difference between the value that you got from here and, and right the there? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna be a difference. Okay, thank you. Well, I don't know. And did you did it overestimate or did it underestimate? Okay. Thank you. Teacher, sir. I guess he had issues with his computer again. Yeah, who is that that's scratching? Scratching. Okay, well, that's we did not need to hear, sir. Scratching what? Yeah, actually, that's you, Rob. I'm not scratching anything. Are you moving your 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 computer around? No. Okay, never mind. It stopped. Okay. I wonder who that was. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Oh, no, I'm just talking about the math problem. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, this math problem is weird. I, I mean, I don't understand it either. Let me... Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and do the the problem with you guys. Sounds good. I like it. I'm gonna put the data in. I'm gonna get the table. But I'm still gonna make you guys do the rest of the work. You're killing this, Smalls. All right. Come on, Rob. You can do it. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna stress out. <sighs> yeah. I I believe in you, Rob. I believe in you. Well, thank you. If I flunk and go back next semester, uh, well, I can just turn in everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me see the data here. Zero. So technically, I can just use Desmos to tell me the answer for C just by plotting, looking at the line, right? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, they don't match up. I just wasted all that math. Just... I could yeah. just look at the graph. <laughs> the question, the question is uh, asking you, right? Mm -hmm. is it overestimating or is it underestimating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. And I was doing the more technical so, way. So I have a question: Is it over? With, well, I don't know. Is it overestimating or underestimating? Well, I want you guys to find that. Well, he found it already. So I was just asking if it was over. Well, right. Try to put in the data into your table and see what it tells you. Okay. Gotcha. You're killing me, Smalls, again. Hey, Rob, you're doing it. Okay. Now let's see. Go in here. Um, Um, I go here. Okay, so if you guys did it appropriately, uh -huh. put it here. Okay. And then why? Is that sixty? Seven. That's nineteen seventy. And the function I got is thirteen point five two. Okay, cool. That's all you cared about. You don't care about all the other extra numbers it comes with, just the first two? Yeah. Okay, cool. Make sure the rest is fine. 16.4, 37.5, 32.2. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. And now for um, E, you just round, round it to 11.10, right? Uh, wait, go back. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, thank you. Uh oh, I mean, now round the base B in your model to two decimal, just two decimal places. So round the B, right? This number. Round the B. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
So do we rather the nearest tenth or the nearest hundred? So it just says two decimal places. So that's gonna, that's going to be to the hundredth. Okay, to the hundredth. Okay, cool. I have a question. Yep. Um, when are you going to grade the test? I need to catch up with my statistics class right after that. Okay. So in other words, we're screwed and we're waiting for everything. Yeah. So I could be flunking so bad, I might need an appendix. I just don't know yet. Um, I put in your guys' group quizzes already, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yep. Just you did. Okay. Are you going to be available next semester? Of course I am. Okay, cool. Because I might have to take class again. Just so you might, on, Bob. I think, I think, I think you're worrying. Oh, I am very worried. This virus thing is killing me. And on top of that, I'm stressing out. Well, who knows you got the virus yet? Well, not me. I mean, but I'm just saying it, it, it's hard knowing that it's out there. Yeah. It's like a silent killer. You guys want to hear you you guys want to hear something funny that I heard uh I walked around in Costco yesterday. Gone. <laughs> Shelf empty. <laughs> it's actually it's going to be nice and short, okay? Yeah. Um one of the workers at at Costco uh he was he was restacking I don't know what it was, right? And he was talking to one of the dudes there and he's like yeah, I got the Modelo virus yesterday. <laughs> That's not contagious. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The yep. Modelo virus seems nice. It's crazy, man. Yeah. How are you guys doing with it? Terrible. Oh, well, I'm oh, trying. 28. You're on 28. Damn, see, everybody's faster than I do. 128. Okay. Don't worry about your speed. Yeah, don't worry about how quick you can do this, man. Just do the stunts. All right. What page is that? Uh, 127. 128. Yeah, we're on the back of 128. Because everybody finished and sped through it fast like Comcast. And oh, my goodness, Rob. My goodness. Rob and Widow. Oh. Man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be father time by the time I get done with math. This is just crazy. I have a beard and look weird. Hey, you might be father time, but you can rhyme. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, that rhyme too. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I did. This is Robbie Riddle. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Keep going, Rob. Keep going. I'm going. Um, by the explanation population of England. <clears throat> what is Malthus? What? Malthus. missed a lot whoever that was <laughs> you missed everything <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they did they missed all like all the permanent information we needed she we should boycott the administration 
Oh, I'd love to, but and not and not, and not come to online schooling. <laughs> See that. I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys, but that's why I I sent out that email that um mm -hmm. that like it tells you guys right. Math is always going to be here. True. At this point, whoever had whatever plans for a year from now, right? They're going to be slowed down anyway. Everybody's in the same boat. Math is still going to be here. If you need to take it next semester, that's fine. That's not fine. Because then I'm going to be father time with the beard and I'm going to look weird. And I'm going to come into class and look like you're old enough to be some of your grandpa. You should have passed math a long time ago. That should be okay. The point is to never stop learning. I'm going to be, I'm going to be in a rocking chair coming to class and being like, oh, my bad hip. <laughs> and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to teach you. Hey, <laughs> nothing wrong with that, Rob. Yeah, that, that kind of is a little weird. You're like old enough to be somebody's grandma and grandpa and you're in a math class and then like you got like all the other younger kids and they're gonna make fun of you. You'll be fine, Rob. Oh gee, thanks. I hope so. Cause this is just stressful. <clears throat> um Okay. So, how do we, okay, how do we round to, okay, now that we rounded the B base from the model to do decimal places, how does using this new value, uh, let's see, change the base, the exponential model to the two to four or four places that make a difference? Huh? Which one? For the last one on 127, because I'm, I'm confused. So you're supposed to round your base B. So up here, you got an equation, right? Right. That thing highlighted in blue is your base B. Round it to two decimal places. Okay. Right. right. Use that now. Um, let me see something. Yeah. So using that now, um, how much uh, does your prediction of this year's Medicare expenses change? Uh, by I think by five. I got to well, do the math. You, you got to do the math for it. You got to plug it in. You got to use your new B rather than the old one, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So after I use the new B, how would I do that though? I would do the new B, so that's the one eleven point uh one dot eleven point oh six. Do I times that or do I plus that to get the answer? Well, I want you to try to figure it out, Rob. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, okay. I know, Robbie Riddle. Okay, I'll try to I'll try to uh, divide it and see what I get. Okay. Okay, I divided and I got thirty five hundred. Are you sure? Yep, oh, thirty five hundred. I could be wrong, but that's what I got. You can double check it. Okay. Yep, thirty five hundred. Or is that a six? I can't read. Yeah, that's a no, 3,500. Yeah. So it's not 3,500, is it? I don't know. How do you not know? You're the teacher. Okay. Look, teacher, no, just, you're the teacher. How do you not know? You're the professor. You're supposed to know this stuff. Yeah, but he knows, I but he's not going to tell you all the answers. Yeah. No, I mean, I know that, but I just want to know if it's right or wrong. I mean, then I could go back to either like, Cross multiplying, or I can go back to like plusing or doing whatever another one so I can figure out the right, correct answer. 
It's something. It's what? It's something. Oh, you're killing me. All right. Okay, well, maybe after everybody does it, I'll wait for everybody to do it and then have them tell me what they got. Okay. Because this is ridiculous. Make sure you know how to do it. I've tried it, and, it, and I got my answer, but it, it could be wrong. That's okay. <sighs> You're killing me, Smalls. Killing me, killing me, killing me. I know. I know. All right, well, if by April 7th you don't see me... <laughs> And the college is open. You'll know why, because I died. I was in the, went to the hospital due to stress. You gotta breathe, Rob. You're letting the stress get the better of you. Okay. You just gotta breathe, man. Okay. Okay, I'm trying, sir. I really am, but this stuff is just like ugh. I know. So let me at least put the table up for the other ones. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I like that. You're thinking outside the box. I like that. Is there a way to input uh, two lines on Desmos with regression? Yes. Uh, you need to open up a, a different... Uh, you need to open up like a blank Desmos. Okay. Does that make sense? So the one the, the things that I gave you guys, right? Those are just calculators. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, <laughs> those are just calculators. You need to open up a blank one for um, uh, in order to put two graphs in. That's crazy. Let me see, hold on. Okay, so let me find what I want to give everybody for what is this one? The, the one on page 128. 128, oh, cool. Uh, is going to be the equation for uh, B mm -hmm. and D. Okay, cool. So yeah. this I'm actually going to. I actually should do at least in front of you guys. Mm -hmm. Then I can, well, the majority of it at least. Well, not majority, but a large part of it. Um, okay, cool. I'm down like Crestor. Let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. I read it wrong. I do. So one for population, one for food. I'm going to share my entire screen. Okay, cool. So, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 35. So, <clears throat> first one is going to be the first two for the population of England. So this is going to be for B, uh, 7, uh, 8.04, 9.23, 13.96. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Right. And for that problem, does it, is it asking which one works better or? Well, for B, well, yeah, actually. So regression, not regression. Uh, hold on, let me fix this. Okay, so regression. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, which one's better, linear or exponential? Because it says 
find the, an equation. Right. We use, so, did, did you use lunar or did you use exponential? Well, that's my question to you guys. Looking at the graph that you guys see on the screen, which one looks like it fits better? The black line one or the blue exponential one? The black line one. Really? Yeah, okay, well, the blue. The blue one because it fits the points better, right? Right. So that one's uh, exponential, right? Exactly. So exponential. Okay. The equation for it. Let me go back and give you guys the equation for it. Is down here, right? So x. Whoa. Could you just use seven as a? Put yeah. Actually, go ahead. Well, no, no, no. Go uh, put the seven point oh oh one two seven. Okay. Since this is like an approximation. So then X is years, right? Right. And then Y is the population. Right? Right. And the function itself is uh, 7.00127 times 1.02. Seven nine nine to the end. Right. And how did we make our decision? So how did we decide? This most. How did we decide uh, the exponential over the limit? Desmos. The, 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 the graph fit better. Right, the graph fit better, right? The graph uh, uh, fit the data points better. Right, so graph made it better, got it. Okay, now, I'm gonna do the same thing, but for the other sets of points, yeah? Well, uh, for what number, for the, uh, for the, for, uh, oh, for D, right? For D, right. So zero, seven, and it's going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. <coughs> hey, Walt. Point four zero nine point eight eight. All right. So now we have the data for. There we go. We have the data for the other ones now. This case, which one does better? Linear. Linear or the exponential? It's linear. By the linear. If it's all the points, if better it's, than the exponential. Right. If it's the points, better than the other one. That's simple, right? So. Right, X, whoa. Now we're looking at the linear regression line. And that is the slope and our y and x are going to be point x plus 7. Okay. We got it? 
Uh, yeah. So hold on, one twenty-eight. Okay, hold on. I'm still writing that down. Hold on. One. It's on one twenty-eight. Okay. D, right? Yeah. Yep. Seventy-eight times x plus seven. Okay. All right, got it. So we're still trying to figure out which one's better, right? Yep. Okay. Well, no, it is better. You could see it from the graph already. Oh, the black, right? Right, the black line, right? And that's that, that linear or exponential. Well, which one is it? The black linear. line is the line, right? Linear, I think. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Are we ready to move on? Yes, we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That big. Page are we on? <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start page 133. But first, guess what time it is? What? Break time. Break time. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be coming back from break because I have a tutor that's going to help me. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna get this done. Okay. Okay. Thank you, you sir. You. Okay. What? Okay, so I do. So the next pages for homework before I go um, are one thirty, uh, one thirty nine, and one forty one. Yep. One forty. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. The man with the plan. Okay. Bye. Bye, man. I'll see you Thursday. Definitely. So, um, was there group work due at all today? I think if you got 2 1 or 2 2. I think I got the, I don't, doesn't have a page. It doesn't really have a what number it's on. I just had the page number. It's 119. Oh, I see. Um, you go back. I have. Two, three, down two. Let me see. One nineteen is two, three. Two, three. Okay, so that's two, three group work. Yep. Um. Okay. So two, threes. Is that due today? Yep. Okay. Two, threes due today as well. Well, I, I think it's, I, I have to be a little bit more lenient with you guys because of this, uh, because of the predicament we're in. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather you get it done right and have it, I think I've, I've made this point already, right? I want you to have it done right and turn it in late rather than have it done on time and do it sort of half-assed. Does that make uh -huh. sense? Yeah, yeah. So okay, cool. Then uh, take the time you need. Don't take too long. But take the time you need, and turn it in whenever you can. Okay, uh, two three. I'm pretty confident in the group work I want to go over in, but two five, I, I'm lost. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, we haven't even started two five. I think two five we do today. Yeah, that's what the homework thing said. Let's oh. do today. Oh, the online stuff. Huh? Yeah. I was I was threw off by it. I thought that was the book work. Yeah. Was, okay. Um crap. 
I completely forgot about your guys' group work or uh, uh, online stuff. I need to go back and move that stuff around. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't want to make. <clears throat> it. Um, yeah. All right, cool then. I won't stress too much over that, and I need to do the same thing with the other ones. All right then. That my, sounds good. I missed my desk at my office. I have reminders for myself there. <laughs> so you guys are on break for a couple minutes. <laughs> so the ones um so the assignments that are in your office you're just going to grade them when you go back hello I think that's what he said. Cause oh. there's sound like uh, he wasn't able to get mm -hmm. that are like still left on the desk. Oh, okay, thank you. My bad, you guys. I needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I got to chat and see. Uh, Diana, I need to uh, move all those things. I completely forgot about your guys' online stuff. We're about a week behind from what I thought we would be, which is what's on the, um, uh, which is uh, the, the online homework. So yeah, so I, I need to move all those. I'll, I'll probably move them back a week or something, which means you guys mm -hmm. might need to be doing stuff during a, spring break um but that's more time for you guys which is okay The hell was that?
much time do we have on our break? Seven more minutes? I think you guys maybe another five. All right. All right. So you guys want to hear something fucked up? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Uh, so I've heard uh, every, once in a, every once in a while, I go into my little mini backyard to see, uh, just to stand back there, right? Because it's the only connection to the outside that I got besides the TV and you guys, right? Uh, and every once in a while, it's been kind of windy. Um, yeah, uh, it's been kind of windy. So um, I've been noticing that because of the wind, uh, I keep on thinking that the trash that I keep seeing in my backyard is just trash that the wind blew in. And uh, it turns out, nope, it's been, uh, so I, my fence is against, uh, uh, my, fen my back fence goes to the next apartment complex over. And it turns out people from over there have been throwing trash over my fence. So. You should, uh... Uh, Get clean up your whole backyard and throw yeah get a dog clean up your whole backyard pull a bunch of grass and mud and shit and throw it over there so so take, I, i'm in an apartment complex too so i can't have a dog but i do have a water hose get them <laughs> pepper spray yeah so uh next time i i, I hear trash like fall over my my fence uh they're gonna get they're gonna get hosed you gotta record that <laughs> <laughs> record it for everybody to see even just for yourself or anybody yeah america's funniest home videos <laughs> <laughs> gotcha bitch <laughs> <laughs> hey. really that. that's great <laughs> That was that was a Chappelle, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Man, I don't know why he stopped making that show. Well, I do know why, and I'll blame him for it. It was funny how he said, like when he came back from his comedy, he's like, "Yeah, I left Comedy Central, walked away from twenty million, and then fucking Key and Peele came and took my job." <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a point. It's pretty true. Yeah. 
exactly what happened, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of sucks because, I mean, Key and Peel is good, but Chappelle though, he he had it. I don't think he cared <laughs> what the they had to say about his comedy. He just did it, I think. Yeah, yeah that's why he got away with a lot. Right. I'm glad he got out before he turned into like a Cat Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Un- <laughs> <laughs> Watching uh, what was that? Housewives of Atlanta or something. <laughs> hey. Not to say that I'm watching it or nothing, but. <laughs> Hey, do you guys know how to um, turn down the audio with the AirPods? Heck no. It's just hella loud in my ear. I mean, I guess you could turn it down from the... Uh, from the computer at some point, no? Computer, yeah. And that's at the very least, right? Yeah, you can do the, the FN, and then I think it's F7 for most computers. All right. You guys think you ready? Yep. All right. Ready as you'll ever be? Okay. Here we go. All the wind's blowing. All right, so let me see. For the rest of class, I want to cover, where am I? Here we go. Uh, Module unit two, activity five. Um, So what I want to do is I want you guys to find, first of all, for these two tables, I want to give you guys five minutes to try to find the equations for them. Hell no, that's going to fry out my brain. I remember doing this stuff. <laughs> I want you to try it. I'll try it. At least it's... find the pattern. At least find the pattern. <laughs> Between the X and the Y values, yeah? This is unit two activity five, right? Yep. <laughs> it's so quiet without Rob. I hope he calms down. He uh he needs to relax. Yeah. I just had the same sort of discussion with my uh uh with my brother. What was it yesterday or the day before? He's down in, in Cal Poly in Pomona and uh, they're barely starting a lockdown of their own. And he's all worried about my parents. So it's getting to people. Yeah, it is. I mean, if it wasn't, we were all, that's the, that's the horrible about a part about the stay at home order is we were all going to get a, we're all going to get a cabin fever eventually, right? Either that or the anxiety was going to get to us real good. Yeah, you can see it at any grocery store now. Right. They actually had to close down the one that I go to. Yeah. So I go on the corner because one of the person, they tested for the virus. Really? Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's nice. I've been going there, getting my shit for the past couple of weeks there. Right. <laughs> Even Amazon shut down now till April. 
Really? Yeah. I was thinking smart too. I was thinking I might get ahead of the curve. Screw all these people going to the stores. I'm gonna work from Amazon. And right. then this shit happens. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. <clears throat> Far ahead. Have people found an equation yet? What page is this? <laughs> 133. Oh, it's on the bottom of 133. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Did you want us to just use our head or like plug it in and try to find an equation? Yes. All of the above. Well, Y doubles every time X goes up to one. It's like goes up one, Y doubles. Right, so then what can the equation be? Does it have to be a regression one or could it be a linear? Uh, it's, well, it's, you mean an exponential, right? Oops, yeah, 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 that's what I meant. So it can be an exponential. <laughs> okay. Is that one times two to the X? Yep. Does everybody see why? Nope. That's okay. So, let's actually work out the mathy bits, yeah? Let me see. I had some chats. Let me see. Yep. Turning into Jack from The Shining. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you guys notice, right, these go up by ones. Right? And every time we go up in the y's, right? Times two, times two, times two, times two. Right? Right. Okay, hey, what about the second one? One times three to the x. The same thing with threes. Right. So these were plus one, plus one, plus one, right? Uh, these are the same thing, right? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, dot, 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 dot. And these are times three. Just be patient, dog. Are you talking about your dog? Yeah. No, yeah. not you. I wasn't talking to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's pouting because he wants to walk. He wants to walk. Okay. So we know that the first one, right, is 1 times 2 to the x, and this one's 1 times 3 to the x, right? So for A, right, it doubles. And for B, it triples, right? We good for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So well now what I want to do is instead of looking at the entire table, we're going to look specifically at that one. Does that make sense? And then same thing for the other one. Let's 
six. Oh, whoops. I messed it up. One, three, three. Three, six, nine. Got it? Got it. Okay. Um, what's the pattern for these? Just these values. I know that everybody has this hunch of saying it's equal to one times two to the X, which is still true. And the other one is. Oh my goodness. Doc. One times three to the X. But give me another formula for it. So we know that this is true, that both of these are true. Give me another formula. Any ideas? Does anybody see a, a relationship between these two? Or these two? Oh, the square root. Close. So the square root of 64 isn't six. Good point. Right? How about I give you guys this? Uh, it's going to be one times four to some power. To the gonna be one times nine to some power. So how about the what happens between here and here and here and here and here and here? One well, technically here and here. Any idea? Multiply, multiply by four every time. Right, it multiplies by four after how many? Every how many x's? Two on the top. Right. So. You guys see that? Yep. Oh, that makes sense. Now we have a new formula, right? I don't know, they can be fractions of the exponent. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. So what would be the one for the second one? Uh, we're glad that Rob's not here, this would freak him out. Yeah. All right, well, it'll be the same thing, it'll be, um, one times nine to X over three. Right. So now we have two new equations. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna do today deals with exactly that. So see these exponential functions that have fractions in the exponent. So those fractions do something pretty particular and that's what we're gonna to cover today. Cool? Cool. Yep. Okay. So. All right, I'm sure that you're going to cover, but say <clears throat> that's easy to find out for like, for the bottom one every three, but what if you wanted to find out for like one year, how do you take an exponent of one third I'll show you guys that in a bit. So part of that is, is still, uh, that's part of today's lesson. Yeah. Uh, so for this one, X is the years from 2000, right? And my Y's are the number of cell phones in the US in millions, right? So let's go ahead and do um, the table here. Specifically, what I want to do is, Okay, so you guys notice this, it's gonna be an X over two, right? So I'm gonna do zero, two, four, and six. 
And the reason why is because if I plug them into there, I get nice flat numbers. Got it? Got it. Okay. So give me a second because what I want to do uh, my tablet's acting up again. Oh, because it's not plugged in. There we go. Okay. Uh, I want to open up the calculator at the same time. There we go. Okay, let me share my screen. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find some of these answers out. Yeah. So for zero, it's going to be a, come on, eight times three to the zero over two. 8 times 3 to the 0. What's 3 to the 0? One, right? Right, that's always going to be 1. So this is going to be 8 times 1, which is 8. We've got our first value, yeah? So here's the reason why I wanted to do 2, 4, and 6. So if I do 8 times 3, 2 over 2, that's equivalent to what? 1. Right, times 3 to the 1, which is 8 times 3, which is? 24. Right, 24. You guys see why I chose those values first? Yeah, they're easy to they're use easy for fraction. To right. Is if you have an, a fraction in an exponent, that's going to be much more difficult for anybody to do. So we'll choose the the easier numbers for now, and then we'll fill in the rest later. Does that make sense? Yep. So this is going to be four over two, which is eight times three. Four divided by two is. So it's going to be, and three squared is? Nine. Eight times nine is uh, 72? Mm -hmm. Last I checked, right? And then six, eight times three to the six over two, eight times three cubed. Uh, 8 times 27. 216. Which is what? 316? 216. 216. Okay. So we have those values. I'm going to make this one a little nicer. Oh, this is great. Here we go. Got it? Yep. Okay. So what's happening to my x's? They are uh, uh sorry, what's happening for the for the X's that have been circled in red. What's happening? They're going up by how many? By two. They're going up by two every time, right? So from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, this is plus two, plus two, plus two. Got it? What's mm -hmm. happening to my Y values? Multiplying by three. Right. This is... Uh, times three times three 
times three, right? Got it? So now, we have the formula for it, right? It's this one right here. So now, what's the eight do? What's the three do? And what's the two do? So eight is your initial value, three is your rate of change, and two is the amount of years. Right, so eight is your initial value. That doesn't change, right? This is your, your, the three is the growth or decay factor. That didn't change either, right? And the two is is the every two years, right? Mm -hmm. So the initial value, that's the eight, right? The growth or the decay, that's when we did the times three every time, right? And then the every two years was the plus two for the x's. Got it? Got it. Okay, so now this is your question, Nick. Rewrite that, the new thing, into that form. That requires a little bit of finagling, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to do it this way. F of X, we know that that is 8 times 3 X over 2. That is equivalent to 8 times 3 to the 1 half times X. So the rule that I'm using here. Uh, I don't think uh, this, I believe, should have came from last semester, uh, from Math 25. Um, if you have A to the B and you take it to the C power, that is equivalent of A to the B, whoa. B times C, right? B times C, right. Got it? Got it, but question, I understand how to, you know, multiply exponents. Right. But say that was your, your final value was like three to the one half, would it just be one half of three times three? No, so technically, but so let me write it, let me write down another rule. I'm, I'm gonna just rewrite this one. So A to the B to the C is A B times C. The other one that I want to do is this one, um, is A to the B divided by C, that is equivalent to the C root of A to the B. Now, you'll need this one if you ever go into pre-cal. The one that I want you guys to remember for uh, at least this class is this one, the A1 over C, that is the C root of A. So for this class, this one is the more important one to remember. Okay, this one's the one that gives you, so if you have A to the one half, that is equivalent to the square root of A. Okay, okay. Yeah? Say that again. So this that last part, right, this green one that I have squared off, that's the more important one for this class, for this semester. God dang it. A to the one over C is the Cth root of A. So this, so if, if that C value is three, then that's going to be three. So it's going to be the third root. Okay. Not it? Okay, gotcha. Okay. So now, that's what's gonna happen to this thing right here. This is gonna be eight 
times the square root of 3x. And if we actually plug in uh, the square root of 3 into our calculators, we get something. Let me see. Calculator, calculator, calculator. There it is. Uh, three square root. Oh. One point seven three two. Da 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 da. X. Got it. Got it. Okay. So now we're going to use part C to determine whether or not it's increasing or increasing, and by how much. So looking at this, looking at that final equation that we got for B, how much is it growing by? 173%. Close. So that one up front is for free, remember? So uh, my B is gonna be the one plus on an R, right? And that we know is 1.732, which means our R is 7, 0.732. And what's that as a percent? 732. Not 732. 73.2%. Right, 73.2%. So then that's where we get, let me actually write that three a little better. So that's where we get our percent from. Right? And this is every year. Got it? Got it. So this is from C. What's our growth from B? What's happening? Multiply by 1.732 to the x power. Uh, from B, from this one. So how are we describing our growth using B? Uh, the decay factor? I don't know. Yeah, well, how often, so what was the decay factor? What what happened between 0, 2, 4, 6? Uh, multiples of 3 for every 2 years. Right. So, yeah. So the way that we would say that is that our values tripled every two years. Now, out of the two, which one's simpler? Form B. Form B, right? And for that, we need the special equation, the, this kind of equation right here. You guys got it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to forego writing in the last couple, the, um, the ones with the space pen in them. But in order to find those, which equations would we use? Does it matter which one? No, you'll get the same answer, but. Right. Uh, yeah, I think C would be easier on that one. Right, C would be easier on that one. Does that make sense? So you can use either one of the two, A or B, or sorry, B or C, uh, 
to find one, three, and five in the values for them. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Cool. Yep. And what I want to do is five. So notice how we have our functions, right? And notice that it's over two, right? So we're gonna do every two. So it's gonna be zero, two, four, six, eight. Got it? So at zero, what do we have? So first of all, let's let's describe the, the kind of growth that we're gonna get. So it's the same as the last one, multiples of three every two years. Right, so this is gonna be triple, right? Every uh, every two years, right? Does that make sense? So uh, for zero, what's my y? Five. So that's still the same. That's the initial. At two, fifteen. Right. So this one's going to be fifteen. At four. 45. Right, so let me do five times three equals 15. And then 15 times three is 45. And then six is gonna be? Um, 135. Right. One thirty five and eight. Four oh five. You guys have, see how much easier it is to do these problems using this description? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. It's just the in betweens that get a little uh, yeah. shaky. Right. So this one, the next one, notice how it is divided by four. So we're going to go every four, four, eight, 12, 16. And is this one growing or decaying? It's decaying since it's uh, right. less than one B. Right, so we are still looking. So here, the three meant it was growing, right? It was tripling every year. Here, that number is less than one, so I can still say it's decaying, right? It's decaying by how much? 40%. Right, so this is a decay of 40% every how many years? Four. Right, every four years. So that one's a little bit easier. It's pretty linear since like 10, well not linear, but like 10% every year, 40 <laughs> by four, but. Close, percent <laughs> we work that way, but I see your intent though, but yeah. yeah. As far as like every year, you know, it's 10% because it's easier to divide four years by 40%. But like the one before that, I would say it's more confusing because it's not like um, easy to, you know, deduct in between the years. Right. So uh, for zero, what's my Y value? 800. Right. That's still 800. Oh, wow. I guessed on that. I got lucky. <laughs> you done good. Yeah. For four. Six. Mm. What am I multiplying it by? It's gonna be eight times four, right? Nope. So it's four eighty because you multiply by point six. Right. We have to multiply it by point six. Mm. And that's what four eighty you said? Yeah, four eighty. What's eight? Two eighty eight. So that's gonna be my four eighty from before, right? And it's gonna drop by 40%, which means 60% is left. And that's 288? Yeah, 288. 12? 
288 times 0. 0.6, which is what? 172.8. That's a 103.68. 172.8 times 0.6 is 102.68? Uh, 103.68, but yeah. 103. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get these values right. So notice how this works out, right? That we do the same calculations that we did for uh, unit two activity, what is it? Unit two activity two, where we deduct or we, we drop by a certain percentage, right? The only thing that changes is on the X, how often we jump. So before we were doing um, drops or growths in percents per year, Right now we're doing growths and decays in percents per every four, three, two years. Got it? Got it. Okay, one more. So again, notice how since this is X over three, that's why we're going 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. Got it? Got it. So what's going to be 0? 5. And describe, the, describe this to me. Describe how uh, the function is going to. So the initial value is 5, and it's going to grow how fast? Every how many uh, every how many hours I think it is minutes. Okay. Yeah, minutes. So it's going to grow by multiples of four every three minutes. Exactly. Make sense. So let me actually do that here. Five, four, three. So five is still my initial, right? Got it? Got it. Okay. So if the first one's five, at three minutes, what do we got? 20. Right. And then for six? 60. Not 60. 80. 80. I think you were still stuck on the times three from before. I think so. Yeah. Uh, 20 times four, 80. And then for nine? 320. So it's going to be 80 times nine, which is? What's 80 times nine? Not 320. Seven twenty. Yeah. And then for the last one. Wait, how is it eighty times nine? I thought it was going to be eighty times four, since it multiplies by four every three minutes. I was just testing. Yeah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah that was my bad. My bad. Okay, I was like, wait, fuck, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> yeah. Good thing my, my chat just blew up. I was like, why is it times nine? <laughs> so yeah, that was my bad. And then the last one, same thing, right? Three, 20, 
times four. Uh, 1280. Right. Okay. Rewrite. So it says this, whoever wrote the packet, definitely was not me this time, I swear. Um, it's not supposed to be that, they just forgot to change. It was a copy paste there. So we need to rewrite that equation. So f of x is five times four x over three. It's gonna be five times what? to the x? Square root of uh, two, three, sorry. Close. The square root of what? Is it gonna be like the third root of four? Right, I think that's, I think that's what you wanted to say, Damon. So it's gonna be four in here, right? But that exponent, I'm gonna separate, it's gonna be one over three, five, third root of four to the X. Now, this is a better problem to show you guys how to do it on a calculator. So, Does everybody see my calculator on their screen? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, um, notice how, so there's two methods to do it, right? The calculator can't do this way right here. The calculator cannot do that very well, okay? But it can do this very uh, readily. And the way that you do that is that carrot. See that carrot that's a, right below the clear? So that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna use four to the, and here's where we put the one divided by three. One divided by three. Okay, uh, for those of you with the older calculators, you might need to do the four to the, it'll give you a carrot, one divided by three. And make sure you put the, that exponent in parentheses. Otherwise your calculator is gonna read it wrong. How many decimal points, uh, points do you want us to go in our places? Three is healthy, I think three is healthy. Got it? So then this now be, whoa. This now becomes five times 1.587 to the X. Actually, both of these become the same thing. You guys got it? Yeah. Okay. All right, it's close enough to the end of class. Um, I'll, I'll save this last problem uh, for, what day is that? For Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I'll save the last problem for Thursday as a, as a, re, as a recap. Uh, but free on, from here on out, I think you guys can do the, um, the group work. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys? Uh, this? Well, it would have been nicer if I wasn't bothered the the first half of that page. Just trying to scramble and to figure things out. Yeah. Um. Are you? When's your tutoring days again? 
Um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I am in the lab from, what did I say, one fifteen to 2? Uh-huh. And from, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm in there from 8 to 8.45. I do have office hours. Uh, so, like, for example, today, I have office hours from 3 to 4.15. Okay. So, if you That's go to cool, that man. link, so if you go to that link on, um, uh, let me see if I can get to it from here. Come on. So if you get to, so if you go to your homepage for the course, right? See that link right in the middle where it says online office hours. If you click there at around three o'clock, three fifteen, uh, I'll be in my office, virtual office. Okay. So people can ask me questions. Okay. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> I'll say my questions off the then. So okay. the only thing that's due today is what? It's two, three, and two, five lab, right? A group? Two, three, and two, four, I think. No, two. I think it says two, five on there. Uh, no, okay, yeah. So uh, I'm, I need to move those dates. Okay. Yeah. So I'll probably be doing that during um, my office hours later on today. So they're not due today? Or Not just two, three. So two three the, the the material for two three is due today uh two four since we finished it i think last class uh i'm gonna move it to maybe thursday okay and you're talking about two three as in the paperwork right right exactly okay and we turn that in through the online right take a picture of it and submit it to me online when i click on it through the canvas it just sends me straight to the online homework uh well does it give oh, you a, doing it wrong uh did it give you an option for online submission uh let me, go, let me go back to it i don't think so actually now that you think about it now now that i think about it i think i made only the uh, let me try this really quick so which one yeah you just, two three yeah you know two three graphs and exponential functions yeah it just sends me straight to the online homework uh and you need two three the lab or well, the group assignments and the lab assignment right yeah unit two activity three edit more options oh no that's fine try it again there should be an option there if you do it on your phone how about yeah. that let's go on my phone yeah do your phone so you can submit a picture that way Okay, same thing. Go to assignments. You're right. And click on unit two, three, exponential, do March 24th, that one, right? Yep. Click on it. What's this? Submission and rubric. What's that? Just go to submission. So when I click on it, it just sends me back to the online homework. What comes up though is comments, files, and rubric. Huh. But when I go back to it, there is this thing that says launch external tool. tool, tool. Um, and that just sends me to the online homework. Are you, I think you might be, oh, you're, uh, okay. Look below. I think you're clicking on the online homework assignments and not the uh, uh, the group assignment. So scroll down a little farther. There should be things that say like U two A three group assignment. When you click on assignments, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. Woo. That was about to make you do more work than you thought you would have to do. I was I was worried that the thing that I had set up didn't work. So I was like, oh, no, no, I need to go do that all over again. All right. Now. Sorry, I have to walk me through this. This is like weird. This isn't the same 
thing I used when I did the paper in your classroom. Right. Uh, Try it right now if you want to submit something, and I, I can tell you if it went in or not. All right. I'm going to try doing the... Okay, let's do the group assignment first. Come on, you can't be this slow. <laughs> oh, nigga, you gay! <laughs> I think I sent it. What was that? Did that go through? I don't know. Let's find out. Let me see, assignments. This is unit two, activity three, right? Yeah, the group assignment. The group assignment. Oh, there it goes, it's successfully submitted. Unit C. Well, that's not what I wanted. Let me see. This is me talking to myself. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm clicking around myself, see where things are going. Unit two, activity three. Click on there. I do have two submissions. It's downloading. Okay, cool. But it does show that you submitted something. Okay, cool. Okay, I figured it out then. Okay. So just the group work and two, three assignment. Huh? Just, <clears throat> just two, three and the group work, right? Yep. Or two, three. All right. Awesome. All right. Thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll see you Thursday. I'll see you in your lab hours. Or that, yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Diana, uh, I'm still looking at it. So I'm finding solutions. So it turns out the, uh, the, um, the late, uh, the late passes, um, I had to extend the, the length of the late passes. So now it shouldn't deduct more than one or two. but I'm still looking at why that homework assignment is not showing up for you. I've already posted on the forums. I'm waiting for an, a response. So I'm trying to see if anybody else has had the same issue. Hopefully I'll get to it uh, later on during my group work time or group work time during my office hours.
Don't worry, you guys. I haven't forgot. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, I need to go start prepping for my next class. Um, I have office hours if you guys still have questions on stuff. Um, that's going to be from 315. So if you go to that link on your home pages for the course, uh, you should be able to get to me pretty quickly. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys later.